Hello, everybody. We are live on Trailers and Trash after experiencing a few technical difficulties. Special guest today, Dead Beats front person. Yes. Dead Beats front person slash show promoter, Mr. Davenport. Thanks for coming on the show, man. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. So let's just uh, dive right into it. Before we get started, you can call and talk to Mr. Davenport on 406 406- Nine two six two six three zero. You're in the process currently of booking a new festival, mm-hmm. possibly to fill the void uh, of of Total Fest because it's no more. Right. Um, yeah, and that's really the reason I started doing it because uh, Total Fest was such a big deal, and a lot of Minneapolis people came out here, and I have a lot of Minneapolis yeah. friends. Yeah, it's absolutely. Kind of worked out. Um, and uh, how'd you decide on the name Eel Fest? Um, is it uh, deri- uh, because of your name? Is that it, the actual spelling, Kai Eel? It, it isn't. It isn't. No, but yeah, it's part of that for sure. Yeah, I love it. I mean, you can do you can do all sorts of fun like word puns with it. Like, uh, I saw one of your uh, one of your uh, I think it was a meme, something about a uh, about a can sealed event. Yes, that had that had me busting a gut, just rolling and laughing. And uh, you're actually you're offering some really bitching deals on recording. I noticed. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. Um, yeah, I have a small studio at my house. Um, it's all acoustically treated. Um, and I like recording stuff and sure. there's a lot of bands in town I've been wanting to do and maybe bands I don't know about. I just started throwing that up on Craigslist. And just yeah, started. absolutely. And I like how you, uh, I like that you emphasize it doesn't necessarily need to be music. It doesn't even necessarily need to be good. I mean, as long as, as long as they pay you yeah. basically and all that Pretty money, <laughs> all that money is going toward funding the new festival. Is that right? Yes, it's true. Yes. Um, because those things cost a lot of money to put on and they don't really have a super great return <laughs> oftentimes. Yeah. So yeah, you want to do it. You're just pretty much uh, doing it for for the glory and and uh, to fill the void. Yeah, for the for the fun. Awesome. Feels, feels like to have fun. Uh, what kind of uh, confirmed acts do do we have? Are we looking at so far? Can you talk about it? Or? Uh, yeah, there's a lot of uh, Minneapolis eel bands that will be coming out. Um, like Naive Sense, I'm wearing one of the shirts tonight. Oh, sweet. Um, what are they called again? Naive Sense. Naive Sense. Sweet, man. Um, that's one of the bigger ones. Um, Disasterati, some... They're really hard to pin down on genre, but they're good. Yo, well, that's, good. that's my favorite kind of music, man. <laughs> yeah, there's... Like, there's anything there's that you can slap a generic label on, I'm generally not too big of a fan of most of the time, unless it's super well executed. Yeah. Which I noticed about about your own project, The Deadbeats, that is just some, like, raw, unadulterated punk rock fun. Yeah, just straight ahead. Could you tell me what the song uh, July 13th is about? Um, just, just curious. I just was stumbled upon it while going through the Jack Records band camp. Yeah, that uh, is called July 13th because that was the only note I had on the lyrics in my phone <laughs> that I wrote one night. And... Yeah, it's just about burning bridges. <laughs> too drunk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man, we've all been there. Um, that's my favorite thing to do with bridges. As a matter of fact, is just douse them in gasoline and light them on fire. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, son. Um, let's see. So the recording deals. It's a uh, different depending on depending on the type of type of thing that they're doing. I saw you had like a different rate for a full band, different rate for just like a singer songwriter. Yeah. It's just how fast things go. It starts getting to be like hurting cats when you yeah. get more than one band person, one more band member. Yeah. And uh, generally I find working with musicians is a lot similar to, uh, to the herding of cats. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this was that ADD, you know, instant gratification mindset that that uh, myself and many musicians tend tend to have. Yeah. Um, we have a game we can play. You want to play a game? Maybe. It's called Eel or No Eel. All right. Yeah. Um, so how this works is I'm going to say uh, a species name, and you say eel or no eel. All right. All right. Are you ready to play? Eel or no eel? Let's do this. All right. 
Mono Mononathus Alstromi. Uh eel. That is correct. That is the one jod eel. Uh Karkaradon Karkaius. That doesn't sound like an eel, but it could be. So eel or no eel? Let's say eel. Wrong. That is the great white shark. <laughs> oh. Okay, next one. Aloropoda melanoleuca. That sounds like an eel. No, that is a giant panda. How about Electrophorus electricus? That has got to be the very rare and beautiful electric eel. That is. That is correct. And one more, conger conger. That, I'm going to say that's an eel. That is an eel. You know, you got half wrong, but you got, you got half right, so you still get the prize. We'd like to present you with this autographed VHS copy of Wayne's World. Amazing. There you go. You enjoy that. Awesome. You're not, oh, it's not autographed by like anyone important. <laughs> I just like scribbled scribbled some shit on there. Um, so uh, fantastic. T t tell me about the Deadbeats. How long how long have you guys been a band? Uh, since October fourteen ish. Okay. Um, yeah, it's almost almost. So a yeah, years you guys now, are yeah. oh, October fourteenth. Uh, oh, October two thousand fourteen. Yeah. I gotcha. Cool. So you're like in approaching the the toddler years. Yeah. Of being in a band. Yeah. I mean, I we guess it's more like you should measure like band years and dog years. Yeah. Maybe, you know, like. That might be better. Yeah. Yeah, every year that's more like seven years, you know. It feels like it. Uh, who else is in the band with you? Uh, my buddy Anthony Lozada. He used to be in the band, the Missoula band called, um, and I forgot their name already. He used to be a <laughs> hardcore band for Missoula. I'm going to remember it once this is over. It's One of the coming. many. Yeah, as, as soon as I click that camera off, you'll, it'll just it'll just be right there. It'll just come to you. Uh, could you possibly recite some Deadbeat lyrics as a poem oh, I'd for us? Rather not. <laughs> Would you please? Honestly. Um, all right. I have to look them up. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I the way I do songwriting, I... Have it. You gotta have the guitar have with the, the part. You, you know, I'm kind of the same way. You don't have to do it if you really don't want to. Okay, let's. let's I, avoid I that. just thought it would be funny. <laughs> um, maybe I could recite some Dead Beats lyrics. This could. Yeah, okay, we won't do that. We won't do that. Uh, if you want to call in and talk to the mysterious and elusive Mr. Davenport, go ahead and call 406 926 2630 right now. Pick up your phone. And call them right now. Uh, and Jack Records is your label. Yeah. Um, and uh, how many how many bands are on that label? Um, a handful. I also am doing some work for some of the local stand-up comedians in town, too. Oh, Just sweet, man. That, you know, the stand-up comedians, local stand-up comedy is a hard gig. You know, people... People, it seems like they they have a hard time wanting to go and see like they'll go see a local band that their buddies are in, but a local comedy show is kind of they're just like kind of forgotten. It seems like I uh, think not so much that is is just that the two groups aren't don't merge a whole lot. Yeah, unfortunately, there's yeah every open mic comedy of at the at the union that John Howard does is usually just packs that place. Oh, oh, there's a phone call. We have a call. Hello, you are live on the air on Trailers and Trash, America's Broke's Talk Show with Mr. Davenport. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hey, it's Jesse, man. How you doing? Oh, hi, Jesse. This is one of our regular callers here right. on the show, yeah. Hi, Mr. Davenport. Hello. I missed the opening of the show. Who's Mr. Davenport? Uh, Mr. Davenport is uh, promoting a new festival in Missoula called Eel Fest to fill the void that Total Fest left because there is no more Total Fest. And he's also the front person for the Deadbeats, which is a Missoula punk band that I would describe as raw and unadulterated punk rock fun. Run, raw and unadulterated punk rock fun? Yeah. Total Fest is no more? Total Fest is no more. Do you have, do you have a question for Mr. Davenport? Uh, I was wondering if uh, I have a question for you. Oh yeah, what's what? What is it? Hey, can I come over later? Ah, uh, no, I don't really feel like seeing you. What if I come over anyway? Oh, I guess that's fine. All right. 
Um, well, I'm going to look up the dead beats. It's nice talking to you. Yeah, do it. Go to uh, jackrecords.bandcap.com. <laughs> All right. How long is the delay on this? I don't even think you're talking to me yet on your video. It's like a 30-second delay. All right. Well, I must be more than 30 seconds behind. Okay, we got to go. Bye. <laughs> Um, and uh, uh, tell tell me about some of the other bands that you have uh, recorded on Jack Records. Uh, one of them is my good buddy Micah. From um, I grew up with him, sort of. Uh -huh. I've known him forever. He does like uh, like this Americana stuff, but it's super DIY and rad. Sweet. So there's that. Um, uh, the bear barefoot barefoot band. Yes, is one that I saw. Is that him? That's Micah's. Band. Okay, cool. Sweet. Um, let's see. I've done. I did help. The, light, the latest thing I did, I did help my buddy Grant from the band Buddy Jackson. Uh huh. His solo stuff, and um, he did a split with my buddy Kyle Colseth, who's a stand-up comedian. Yeah, I've seen stand -up him. Stand-up comedy slash acoustic punk kind of seven-inch. Sweet. It's Some like cool. Neil Hamburger-esque. Type type stuff maybe. Yeah, it's just you know one side's Grant playing, the other side's Cole Cole Smith doing stand up. It's it's a nice little awesome. mix up. And uh, did did you grow up around around these parts or? Uh no, I grew up in Sheridan, Wyoming. I hear it's beautiful this time of year. Yeah, if you're not there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what what was that like? When did you like uh, growing up there? When did you start really getting into music and deciding that was something you wanted to kind of uh, pursue? I was always in my oh, there's another, oh another call. I can't believe people are actually watching this right. shit. <laughs> Hello, you are live on the air on Trailers and Trash. What's your name and where are you calling from? My name's Keith. I'm calling from Bozeman. Oh, hi, Keith from Bozeman. How are you today? I'm doing well. I'm excited about Eel Fest. I'm pretty excited about Eel Fest myself. Uh, did you have a question for the mysterious Mr. Davenport? I did. My question is, what were some uh, other names that were considered for the festival, like perhaps H Fest or what's the food situation fest? <laughs> I'll take my answer off the air. Um. Yeah, there was H Fest. That was definitely one of them. Another one was All Fest, A L L. There's also Unagi Fest. Ooh, I like that one. That, uh, that's kind of like a play on eel, isn't it? It is. Wow. Um, there was also Real Fest, spelled R E E L. That was definitely one of them. See what you did there. Um, yeah, that's about it. Those are those are a handful of them. Uh, thank you very much for the quick uh, response. I have one more question. Um, do you think that this has the potential to fill the void left by uh, Total Fest? Maybe. <laughs> I, I think if enough if enough people go and, and pay this great man to record them and he gets the funding needed, I think it could be even better than Total Fest. If it doesn't get canceled. <laughs> okay, well, thank you very much. Yeah, uh, what, what do you do out there in Bozeman? Uh, I'm a degenerate. I play music. I um, fuck around on uh, the internet a lot. That's how I know these guys. Oh, nice. Um, uh, it, it, Bozeman is not an easy place to be a, a degenerate in. Actually, it's really easy to be a degenerate because all you have to be is not totally rich. Oh, nice. Nice. It's, it's actually super easy to do it here. Oh, sweet, man. How many, how many degenerates are there, would you say, in Bozeman total? Uh, probably about fourteen. Fourteen, nice. That that's there's a lot uh, less degenerates than uh, rich people. Then. Yes, yes. Uh, it's it's a skewed uh, demographic for sure. Can I ask you one more question? Sure. How many pounds of clothes would you say you owned? Uh, I'm gonna go with about a hundred and twenty. Holy shit, man! I mean, they add up pretty quick, you know? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Well, hey, man, thanks for calling. It was good to talk to you. No problem. Toodles. Oh, that was nice. Do you know him? Uh, you know Keith from Bozeman? Yes, he's in a band called Zenitram. Zenitram. Do they have a band camp? Uh, I believe they do, yeah. Sweet, man. You have a band camp. I don't. I think I mentioned it earlier, jackrecords.bandcamp.com. Correct. Um, and uh, that's pretty much like... 
an all encompassing for like everything yeah, that's you're, you're working on. Everything right? I, yeah. Um, Dead Beats has its own Bandcamp too. It's deadbeats six 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 nine dot bandcamp dot com. Nice. Oh, that that reminds me. Where in the hell did you come up with uh, your email address? Uh, Big Diaper Boy six 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 at gmail dot com is the is the email you would want to send a letter to if you wish to record with Mister Davenport. Yeah. yeah. Um, I just love big diapers, you know. Yeah. And. I've always been a big diaper boy, so it just made sense. So big diapers as opposed to small diapers. Yes, very large diapers. You're gonna go like like novelty, like large, large, <laughs> large diapers. Those are what really just turned me on. Like patchwork diapers, maybe. Almost, yeah. They're full yeah. like full diapers, but they're <laughs> large. I love that you just called them diapers. Yeah, that's. And how many pairs of a uh, large diapers? Would you say? Uh, four hundred and twenty. Four hundred and twenty. That's that's a, um, uh, uh, about uh, about roughly estimating. Um, so going back to growing up in Sheridan, Wyoming, I think we uh, got interrupted by a call ever so rudely. <laughs> the people like you know call in. You'd think they'd know not to interrupt our conversation when they called, but. You know. Maybe I'm just kidding. They should call whenever they want. But uh, <laughs> yeah, when did when did you discover? Um, yeah, it start, oh, oh, yeah. There it speaking is. of which, hello, you are live on Trailers and Trash. What's your name and where are you calling from? Luke, I'm calling from Missoula. Oh, hi, Luke. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm watching your show. I figured I'd call in. People actually watch. Did you hear the part about not interrupting conversations? Oh, okay. <laughs> Never mind. Do you have a question for Mr. Davenport? Um, no, I just had a question for you. Uh, yeah, I, I try to uh, uh, keep keep the focus on my guest. Oh, well, you I, have, I have a comment for you, Jeff. You rude bastard. <laughs> I, I know. I, that's just how I roll. But... I'm just kidding. I love you. You're a beautiful man. Um, yeah, yeah. What's, uh, what's your question? Well, my, it's more of a comment, but I was just going to say that. I wish Mr. Davenport the best in his uh, ventures, and I think Steel Fest sounds way cooler than Total Fest ever did, personally. Oh, I agree. Uh, it's a great name. I'm a fan of Eels. I'm, I'm a big fan of Eels, too. They're uh, they're underrated. They're also underwater. They they're, they're an underrated food product. Absolutely. Anything else? Oh, what are you doing later? Do you want to hang out? <laughs> uh, maybe. I don't know. Why do you? Yeah, oh. Why not? All right. Well, hey, uh, I'll give you a call. All right, dude. Sounds All right. Good. Later, buddy. I'm going to keep watching your show. Yeah, will you please? Somebody needs to. It's a dirty job, but someone's got to do it. Uh, I'll do it. All right. Thanks, bud. Yep. Bye. Okay, so uh, growing up in Sheridan, Wyoming, uh, what inspired you to pick up the guitar and kind of get get into music? Uh, I was always in like the band, like the high school, like Sousa band. Oh, nice. Pet band, and it just kind of went downhill from there. <laughs> I graduated. I went to Sheridan College for music tech. Got my uh, certification in music technology. And then I just wandered around being a degenerate until I landed here. Nice. Nice. A lot of degenerates, huh? A lot of yeah. degeneration happens on this show, I feel like. Yeah. Constantly. Um, what was the what was the first band you were in? Um I had mostly just like weird solo projects of shit because Sheridan's such a small town. Mm -hmm. It doesn't exactly have a thriving DIY community. No, uh, at one point there were actually like two or three bands, but then they all moved to Denver. In the in the one town? Yeah. Wow. Holy moly! Uh, how big of a town is Sheridan? Like eh, maybe in comparison to Missoula? Uh, it's like seventeen thousand people. Oh, so yeah, yeah, so it's real tiny. Small. <laughs> it's a, a relatively conservative area too, and yeah, I mean, yeah. Um, speaking of conservatives, are you a Trump supporter? Um. Yeah, I I am. You are a Donald Trump supporter. Sure. Do you think he? Uh, do you think? Do you think maybe he might actually win this thing, become president? I mean, if he slithers around and plays his cards right, I'm sure he'll be 
king of the ocean, like an eel. <laughs> Just like an eel. Uh, who do you think is a more qualified candidate uh, for the presidency of the United States? Um, a duck-billed platypus or a koala bear? I feel like a duck-billed platypus because they're in the water just like eels are. So they uh -huh. have a more of a connection with the, the online world. What? <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, I, uh, yeah, I agree. Hey, let's call a holiday gas station. This will be fun. Do you shop at gas stations? I do. What's your favorite item? Beer. Do you want to take this one? No. Okay. Here's your favorite gas station. Thank you for calling Holiday Out Third and Russell. This is Cody. I'm going to help you. Uh, yeah, I was just wondering what uh, what kind of beer do you guys have? Uh, well, what kind of beer don't we have, man? Could you uh, could you just like list it off for me, possibly? Is it busy in there tonight? Yeah, uh, Samuel Smith, Bex, Stella Artois, Newcastle, Corona, Corona Extra, Corona Light. Uh, what, hold on, you have Newcastle there? Yeah. Um, and and uh, what what color would that beer be? What color is it? Is it it's brown ale. It's a, it's a brown ale. Have you tried it yourself? No. No? Is it busy in there tonight? No. Oh, I bet it will be because we're calling you from Trailers and Trash, America's Brokest Talk Show. What? That was All fun. Right. That was fun. Yeah, that was pretty. Anyone you want to call? Uh, no, no, not really, not right now. Sweet man. Well, hey, anything else you want to talk about? Should we touch on anything? Miss points. Um, there is more eel things. Let's talk about more eel things. There is a zine that I do mm -hmm. called Zine H. And that's a monthly zine. Um, I'm actually going to pick up the new issue tomorrow. There'll be an ear candy if you're in Missoula tomorrow night-ish. Or even if you're not in Missoula, you should get in your car and drive to Missoula. Yeah, because there's definitely not a Facebook page. And there's also definitely not a way you can read it online. Because who does that? Who uh, goes online? Man, I love things that aren't on the internet. Me too. It makes them so much more valuable, I feel like, if something's not on the internet. Uh, what's your zine called again? Zine H. Zine H, covering such topics as? Um, there's a lot of good topics. This this issues was uh, in memory of our friend Chad Fuller, who died several times um, over the course of all of last year. He died several times? Yes. How? Explain, please. Um. Well, he was robo tripping oh, on no. bad acid at uh, the inflatable 5K, and that's where he died the first time. Um. And then God just said, you know, Chad Fuller, I love you, and brought him back to life. But then he died again at uh, the Disturbed concert from too much moshing, and then it was kind of just a trend from there. A lot of other concerts, he ended up dying in the concert halls. But he always came back? That's really... He's a, he's that's, a true survivor. That's spooky, man. Can, yeah. Can we keep it like a little lighter, maybe? Maybe. But that's the focus of this month's scene, is Chad Fuller, Sweet our, man. our loving boy. You should, uh, you know, you shouldn't take uh, hallucinogens from strangers. If there's one thing that I've learned in my 30 years... You just shouldn't do that. Yeah, <laughs> it's probably a good idea. You never know what you're getting, especially these days. You got all the numbers and letters and the, you know, the 2CB, the HCI, the ICP, you know, yeah. all that shit. It's all floating around out there. Um, uh, so what other kind of eel things can we talk about? Um, there are some fundraiser shows for Eel Fest coming up, too. Oh, sweet. Let me look at my cal my calendar, which is in my device. Um, the 19th is an all-ages one I'm doing at my house. Oh, cool. It'll be a smaller one. And then the big one, the big push is going to be 
in May on uh, May 7th. And that's going to be at the VFW. So May 7th at the VFW, Eel Fest fundraiser. And uh, also, what was the other day? It was March 19th. March 19th at your house. At um, the Eel Pit, which is my house. Do you want to give out the address or kind of save that for the word of mouth? I will save that for the word of mouth. I understand. I understand. It's a small house. Man, it sounds like a lot of fun, though. Yeah. You got to You got to be careful when uh, blowing up your home address on the internet. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Color. Hello, you're live on the air on Trailers and Trash. I was just wondering, do uh, you think that there's a resemblance? A resemblance? A resemblance, between, a resemblance uh, between your pubes and the hair on your head? Yeah, I think there is a slight resemblance between my pubes and the hair on my head. Oh, right the pussy. What? All right. Well, that was interesting. <laughs> I don't know what that was about, but I didn't get to answer that question. My answer would have been no, because my head, my hair isn't dreaded on my head. That, that's true. Your pubes are dreaded. Yeah. I don't want to see, but I'm, I'm curious. And just move on. All right. Um, <laughs> uh, and uh, what kind of physical media maybe do you have can that people can buy as far as like deadbeat stuff or jack um, record stuff jack record stuff there's cds and tapes and shit it's all on the band camp uh deadbeat stuff we have the usual bullshit we have shirts and stickers and patches we have some demo tapes still we have a bunch of those um, wait a tape yeah, we have cassettes. What what is a what is a tape cassette? Um, it's a little magic box that has tape in it, and that's why the you get the tape from. Uh huh. And it goes into another device that plays it, and it makes sound. So this tape is actually capable of of carrying music data. It is. It's a miracle of modern technology. Man, that's amazing. Could you show me how to do that sometime? Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, I'd love, I'd love to learn how to do that. Um, so jackrecords.bandcamp.com. If you want to get some recording time in, email bigdiaperboy666 at gmail.com. It's extremely difficult to say bigdiaperboy666 with a straight face, uh, it but it's, it's a lot of fun when you get it down. Can you do it? Uh, bigdiaperboy666 at gmail.com. Well, you've been practicing, huh? And I also love large diapers. Yeah. <laughs> let that, just let that one hang. Just thought I'd let that one hang in the air. Uh, so Mar uh, March 19th at your house in the Eel Pit. The other day is May, one more time. May 7th. May 7th VFW. at the VFW. Eel Fest fundraiser. Go and show your support because these things don't fund themselves. And uh, you, you don't want your promoter going broke and homeless trying to put together this awesome weekend of entertainment for you guys. So go ahead go ahead and support. It's a good thing. Uh, any, it any, is. Anything else? Uh, about? How about Martin Scarelli? Have you heard of that guy? Yeah, he's... He's a uh, he's a guy that I have heard about, and that's that's all. You I don't know much about him. You don't have any feelings on Martin Scarelli? No, he looks like a nice boy, but looks pretty <laughs> deceiving. <laughs> that's kind of how I feel. That's kind of how I feel. 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 Nice. Yeah. Sweet man. Well, hey. Uh, thanks for coming on the show. We'll uh, hang on for about five minutes. If anybody wants to call, go ahead and call 406-926-2630 to talk to Mr. Davenport. Um, what did we cover today? We played eel or no eel. We talked about the election. Mm -hmm. We The eel election. Yes. Yeah, I see him getting it. Yeah. Nice. Uh, we talked about the deadbeats. Uh, we talked about jackrecords.bandcamp.com, which is where people should go. Yep. As they would get music and stuff. Yep. Absolutely. Uh, and you can also down purchase and download tracks yes. from there, which there would be are. awesome because you could probably use a couple of bucks. Yeah. I'm going to guess. We yeah. all could. Is anyone going to call? I know you're watching.
There are some people we could call. And call them, to. man. Yeah, just don't give out their phone number on the air. Okay. Yeah. yeah just, we got it. We're sorry. You must first dial a one or zero when calling this number. Son of a. And we're sorry. These old landlines, you know. Yeah. There it goes. Who's this that we're calling? Uh, a man from a band called Twisted Hello. Romance. Hello, is this Patrick? Please record your message. Oh. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. To leave a callback number, press 5. Hello, this is one of your biggest fans. I was wondering if Twisted Romance is going to be recording an original song soon. Um, but you, you're not answering your phone, so I'm assuming, yes, that's what you're doing right now. Uh, I love you. Goodbye. Twisted Romance, where are they from? They are from Billings, Montana. Oh, I hear it's beautiful this time of year. It probably is. Probably. They haven't written an original song since 2008, and we're just trying to help them along with that. They really should, yeah. What do they do, just like covers? or? They don't do anything. Well, are they a band for they, real? They, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or are they one of those pretend bands, like, you know, say we have a couple beers at some party and we're like, let's start a band, man, and then... They're kind of like do. that, only they go to public parks and uh, they have an acoustic guitar. <laughs> between the band? Between the whole band? Yeah. One acoustic guitar? Yeah. What do the other three do, just kind of, like, beat on it? They, on they, one of them sings, and then the other two just, like, pose for pictures. <laughs> Dude, that sounds like my type of band. Yeah, they're... I wonder if they let... The only good they have room for, like, a jaw heart player. Um, yeah, you could yeah. ask them. Yeah. I probably should well, I would if they would have answered. Yeah. Gosh darn it. I know, it's a real bummer. We can try this other phone number. This is a guitar player. So this is really the like uh, the bread and butter of the group, right? This is like the yeah the guts, the skeleton that the that the rest of the group clings around to stay together. Yeah, yeah. Hello. Hi. Is this Jeremy? Yeah. Hey, I was wondering. If Twisted Romance is writing a new song soon, I'm a real big fan. I'm sure he's just busy oh, with it. What a bunch of fun. Yeah, he must be he must be busy at that typewriter. Yeah. The acoustic guitar and some candles lit. That's probably what's happening. Do you actually know those people or no? <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> Man, I wish people would call Oh, oh, oh. We have a call. Hello, you are live on the air on Trailers and Trash, America's Brokest Talk Show. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Yeah, this is Mike out of Minneapolis, Minnesota. What's up, Mike? Not too much. Do you have a question for Mr. Davenport? I do. Uh, Mr. Davenport, how's it going, first of all? It's going pretty good, you know, just slithering and sliding here. Right on. So I've got to ask um, what, what the, the food situation is uh, over there with the uh, Idahoan instant mashed potatoes. Um, Those are uh, a hit over there? They, they're a big hit, yeah. Yeah. They're uh, standard. No kitchen is without them. Right on. Are those going to be served at Eel Fest? Yes, they will be served along with the pineapple shrimp. Excellent. That, that, that's what I needed to know. Cool. Yeah. Also, there might be uh, some rice aroni in there as well. Right on. With hot dogs, though? Yes. Vegan hot dogs, though, because... Yeah. Yeah. Well, right. Exactly. Yeah. Along with the, with the uh, 
the Bud Light Lime. Yes, oh, the oh, classic Bud Light Lime for your sure. enjoyment. They should really sponsor us, shouldn't they? Yeah. They totally should. Can I ask you something? Sure. Uh, how many pounds of clothes would you say you had? Uh, well, I tend to usually measure my clothes in kilograms. Okay, okay. Uh, I, I have problems counting. I, it, it's really kind of hard to tell. Right, because kilograms are in increments of 10, right? Something like that. Or something. But I think they're written in a different language, too. That's true. They're written in, uh, like, British. Yeah, which is really hard for Americans to speak. Absolutely. Well, hey, man. If I had to wager a guess, I'd probably say about mm, maybe, like, 150. 150 pounds of clothes? Probably. I mean, they add up. Why do these friends of yours have so many damn clothes? I have probably, like, 60. Why do all your friends have so many clothes? It might be just from the moisture from being in the ocean with the eels. That, right. that could be. That makes sense. That does make a difference, I've noticed. Montana and Minnesota known for their oceans. Yes. Do you guys in Minnesota, do you all drink really, really tiny sodas and, like, laugh about it? Like, mini soda, ha, ha, ha. No. Oh. No. That's what I am. Usually, like, Talking about Minnesotas and the, the the movie Fargo is actually punishable by death in Minnesota. Is it really? Do they talk about that in Fargo? Yeah, but you know, then we just have to execute people. That's how they keep the uh, taxes down around here. What's uh, the primary method of execution? Uh, having to watch football games. <laughs> That'll do it. Having to watch football games, but you can never reach the snack plate. Right. Exactly. Well, that sounds awful, man. I know where I'm not going to, I know where I'm not spending my summer vacation. Exactly. You know, we don't actually have summers in Minnesota. It's perpetually under snow. Can I crash on your couch sometime? Totally. Dude, sweet, man. Well, I got your number. I'll hit you up about that. Sounds good. All right. Uh, anything else? A any other questions for uh, Kyle, Mr. Davenport? No, that about covers it. Hey, thanks, man. Blessings. Not a problem. Love you. Have a good one. Bye. Love you, too. Bye. <laughs> he said he loved me, too. What a sweetheart. I he's like loving, that guy. He's a loving boy. We need more callers like that, not we just do. people that call, hey, can I come over to the trailer and hang out, you know? That was, that was a good one, man. Cool. Well, oh, yeah. I think that about does it, unless you want to call any gas stations, <clears throat> recite some poetry. Um... Not call, really. Call anyone else? No, I think that's about all the calls that I need to make. Jeremy hung up on me. That that was pretty rude. Maybe that it's because you don't know him. Well, I think it's because he's real busy writing that original song. He probably is. And, you know, sometimes, like Jeremy always says, it's easy to write songs that suck. So I'm sure he's working hard. Right. Excuse me. Writing that Your original excuse. Twisted Romance song. You know, people who never get around to writing, that's what they say. It's easy to write songs that suck. Yeah. I mean, it has been since 2008. <laughs> it's been easy to do that? Since the last song they wrote. Yeah. Maybe. Uh, Twisted. Twisted one more time. Twisted Romance. Twisted Romance from Billings. Go, uh, you know, go find their Facebook page and blow them up and ask them to write an original song. Yeah. It doesn't have to be a long song. It could be a 30-second long song. Yeah, just as long a, as it's an original. original song. I just give them some, like, give them a boost of confidence. Just ask them. Just be like, please write a new song. That's all you have to say to them. I could actually, I could write an original song right now. Could do that. I could, but I'm not gonna. Yeah. Because you know what? Someone needs to pay me. Yeah. Speaking of paying, email Kyle at bigdiaperboy666 at gmail.com. Get yourself some recording time. Doesn't matter if you're rapping, spoken word, full band. You'll, you'll record anything, right? Yeah. Uh, if you need to, like, if you're in, like, a Sousa band and need to make, I forget what they're called, a demo reel of you playing. Yeah. Whatever. Let's do it. Absolutely. Um, what, what's the mo one more question real quick. What's the most uh, different and kind of a interesting project that you, you've recorded? Um, they've all been pretty standard. All the weird people like usually 
figure out how to record stuff on their own. Mm -hmm. So that's been kind of a bummer. What? Well, maybe I'll hit you up. Maybe. I could come up with 50 bucks. Totally. I mean, I'm running the brokest talk show in America now, and it's not cheap, but I think I could come up with 50 bucks. All right. Get an hour, squeeze some shit out. Yeah. I kind of, I always wanted to make an album that's just my hands in like a bag of spinach and just like mashing the spinach together and doing some spoken word over it. That sounds pretty avant-garde. I'm into that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a real uh, triple postmodernist kind of guy. Yeah. I like it. Awesome, man. Well, hey, thanks again for coming on. I really appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for having me. Uh, go to the Eel Fest fundraiser at the VFW on May, in May, May 9th. May 9th, for like the fifth time. <laughs> uh, May 9th, VFW Eel Fest fundraiser. Also, get a hold of Kyle yourself if you would like to attend the house show in the Eel Pit. Yes. All right. Thanks for watching Trailers and Trash, guys. America's Brokest Talk Show. Thank you, Kyle, for coming out. It was a lot of fun. Goodbye. Namaste.